Today, I am going to tell you about an altcoin gem named Elrond, and everything you need to know about it. Here is what I am going to cover in this video. What is Elrond, and what do they offer? What is the price? Why will the price of EGLD moon? EGLD price prediction. Elrond was founded in late 2017 as a solution to the problem of blockchain scalability, which they thought to be the most pressing problem facing the industry. Elrond describes itself as a blockchain platform for the new internet economy, decentralized applications and enterprise use. Its main selling point is its high scalability. To solve the scalability issue, the Elrond's proof-of-stake network utilizes three features and these are shards, metachain, and nodes. Shards are smaller partitions of the Elrond network and each shard handles a portion of the state. The state is made up of the accounts, smart contracts, blockchain, and transaction processing. So that every shard can process only a fraction of the transactions in parallel with other shards. The metachain is the blockchain that runs in a special shard, where the main responsibilities are, notarizing and finalizing the processed shard block headers, facilitating communication between shards, storing and maintaining a registry of validators, triggering new epochs, processing fisherman challenges, rewarding and slashing. The node is a computer, smartphone or server, running the Elrond client and relaying messages received from its peers. Nodes can fulfill the roles of validators, observers or fishermen providing different support levels to the network and earning proportional rewards. I mentioned the network roles which were the validator, observer and fisherman, but what do they do? Validators are nodes that have staked EGLD in case they disrupt the network, which mean they have to cover for their damages or disruptions. This is also called getting slashed. But their role is to process transactions and secure the network by participating in the consensus mechanism while earning rewards from the protocol and transaction fees. Observers on the other hand, are passive members of the network that can act as a read and relay interface. They can be either full, this means keeping the entire history of the blockchain, or light, which means keeping only two epochs of blockchain history. Fisherman is a node which verifies the validity of blocks after they have been proposed. They challenge invalid blocks resulted from adversity of malicious actors and are rewarded for their service. The fisherman role can be fulfilled by validators which are not part of the current consensus round or by observers. By holding EGLD tokens, you can take part in governance, staking, transactions, smart contracts and validator rewards. The company maintains a supply of EGLD tokens to stake on the network during its first year, with validator nodes receiving a 36% annual percentage rate. If we take a look at the price, you can see that it sits at $24.26 and has a market cap of $343 million, and there is currently 14.6 million EGLD circulating, out of the 31.4 million maximum supply. The price reached an all-time high of $35 when the token was listed on Binance. As the token has almost half of its maximum supply in circulation, I think the current price is only likely to appreciate in value. So why do I think the price will moon? The reason I think it will moon is because of the Elrond project itself. The Elrond network is safe and runs on proof-of-stake and not proof-of-work. With the Elrond network structures, which were shards, metachain, and nodes, scalability is no issue, therefore it will eliminate slow transaction speeds, which makes it easier for crypto adaptation. For the coin itself, it plays a huge role, since the token is native to the Elrond network, it allows holders to its fast transaction speeds, staking, governance, smart contracts, and validator rewards. And as you can see on the roadmap, there are still features, such as a DeFi module. But most importantly the Elrond-based wallet and global payment app, Mayer, will make payments more beginner-friendly to non-crypto enthusiasts. And therefore the demand for Elrond will only increase. So where will the price go? I think the price will at least break the all-time high of $35. As you can see right now, 
the price has been trading sideways between $30 and $20. With the current bull run I think it can break above the resistance level of $30 in the near future, and then it should head for its all-time highs. If the price of EGLD breaks $30, I think it can go anywhere. However, if I had to guess, I would say it can increase as much as it did during this rally before the current pullback. So if we take a look at December 2nd, you can see this is where it began to rally, and if I draw the price range, we can see that the price rallied to $29.80, which is almost 180%. So I think the price could at least go to the $54 area, where it would encounter a lot of resistance at the $55 level. That's all I have for today's video, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, do your own research, practice good risk management and once again, I am not a financial advisor. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.